some cooking today. What am I cooking? Wax? That's a candle I got for 99 cents at Goodwill. Another 99 cent candle at Goodwill. And a pan. Their prices are going up. <laughs> I would have liked to have gotten the, I got the pan for three bucks. But anyway, the point is, okay, so I got five, five dollars wrapped up into the, the wax and the pan. What's that for? Well, there's a Pringles can, a fire starter, and cotton, 100% cotton, what they call rounds. What I'm making is fire starters, waterproof fire starters. Then I'm going to take and dip, saturate each one of these, and when it's all saturated and done, the Pringles can holds the stack just like a stack of chips. thing I need to do is fire up the stove and I'm just gonna heat there we go I'm just gonna heat this up I'm gonna put on a low heat uh, liquefied and then I'm ready to go to the next step but folks this wax is like oil have you heard of oil fires in the kitchen you can have the same problem with wax once it's liquefied so be very careful there we go we've got it out of the jar of course I, I've got it on the big burner so uh, that's a little little warmer than I want, so I'm going to put, move it over to this burner. And I'm also in trouble. <laughs> I got something to clean up before my wife sees it. It's been a while now, 10-15 um, minutes. Heat it slow. You don't want to heat it fast. Um, stay in control of the situation. Now I'm going to pull the, the wick out of there. The wick is on a little metal plate at the bottom of the candle. Okay, I'm ready to start making these. What do we call them? <laughs> Fire chips? I'm opening the package now. This is all it is. It's just a thin thing of cotton. In order to live in an understanding way with my wife, I'm gonna put it on here and <laughs> not one of her pans or a, a plate or anything. Look at the way it absorbs it so fast. So I'm just going to throw a bunch of these in there. I've never done this before. Um, I've seen people do it on YouTube and, and that kind of thing. But I thought I'd share this with you guys. My experience doing this, it looks pretty simple. I've reviewed a lot of these uh, different methods of making fire starters and I've come to the conclusion this is the best. You'll, you'll see why when I go and light it. Okay, so now I take my little thing, drain it a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Be a little more careful, guys, because uh, I got a heck of a mess to clean up now. Something I've been loading this thing up. Yeah. Absorbed with wax. Now we're getting kind of to the bottom. The candle was 15 ounces. Okay, the candle wax that went into all these chips, fire chips, are it was 15 ounces and I've still got some left. The candle itself is not scented. It's just red wax. I purposely didn't want it scented. Okay, so now I've got all my salami laid out, <laughs> as you can see. Now we're gonna use the remaining wax up. And clean this. There you go. Clean pan. Fire chips, as I like to call them. And once they cool down, what am I gonna do? Let's put them away. Best thing to do though is they're, they're still somewhat a little bit flexible, so I just flatten the stack out a little bit. There we go. There is your stack of fire chips or fire starters. Now I just put that away with my preps. This stack is full, and then this is what I have left over. This is this is plenty for me for a long time. So that goes in storage. I'm going to give this to one of my prepper buddies 
and then that goes in my bug out bag. And then this, we're gonna test. Here's our fire starter. Let's get going. Okay, I wanna make a point here. Okay, this is floating in water. So, we break it open and we wanna expose the cotton fibers. Here's our fire starter. Give it a quick wipe off. And then let's see how it goes. There she goes. I've seen other guys do this where they bend it and it pops and breaks. This is not working that way. If you take it and stretch it a little bit, you see those ex those fibers exposed? That's what's gonna light and light easy. Now another way to light this is with a lighter. <laughs> the more conventional way. Let's see how easy it is to light with the lighter. See, I don't have those fibers exposed, but that's it. Now you can see the cotton fibers in the one that's burning. It's burning off all that wax. Did you know it's actually not the wax that burns, but the chemical process of it all causes it to go into a vapor and the, it's actually the vapor that burns. If you look down real close here, you can see that actually happening. Same thing with firewood. When you're burning a fire, it's not the wood that burns. It's a chemical process that changes that wood into a gaseous state. Look up wood gasifiers. It's very interesting. They use wood to run generators and cars and stuff like that. Looks like the wax is pretty much consumed and now we're about done with the burn. It's been about six minutes. So you've got six minutes to get your fire going. I hope this helps you. If you haven't yet, subscribe and share this to people that might want it or need it. Thanks for watching. Are we going to do what they say can be done? We've got a long way to go and a short